So we'll shift gears now to Excel. And we, uh, uh, kind of in the background, I downloaded about two weeks worth of data from that website. So we're gonna load that data into Excel, okay? So we're gonna come up here to the data tab. We're gonna select, let me hear get data from file and we're gonna select a folder. So all of those CSV files are, uh, are in one folder. Uh, Microsoft Excel is gonna ask you where that folder is. We're just gonna navigate to that folder and we're gonna select open. So what Microsoft Excel is doing right now is it's going to get that folder and it's basically providing you a summary of what's in that folder. So it's very important that when you're, uh, 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 when you're asking Excel to load data from a folder that, that only the data that you wanna load in is included in that folder, not any, any arbitrary file. So as you can see here, it, it, it sees that there's all of these CSV files in that folder and uh, uh, as I mentioned in the first part, that's that runner summary CSV for each date starting from uh, the March 12th to March 28th. So that's going to be our data range, and and I'll explain that a little bit later. But but so basically, we want to tell Excel to combine these files. So these are all individual CSV files sitting in that folder. We want to tell Excel to combine those files and load them into a spreadsheet for us. Okay, so we're just going to come down here to this drop down list and, and then select combine and load. It's going to do its thinking. It's going to process that query that we just asked, and it's going to come back to you with a summary of the data. So this is what all of those CSV files look like. It's got all, it has all of our column headers in it, and then it has the data. We're only uh, for the purpose of this webinar, we're only going to uh, uh, just look at one athlete. And um, just uh, uh, just as a reminder, all of the data in here is fictitious data. It's it's not. Uh, it's not any real data. So here Excel is showing us a summary of our file. We have a lot of column headers in this and we'll get into what all these column headers are. Uh, but this is basically um, Excel asking us to confirm that this is what we wanna load. We're gonna select okay. And then again, Excel is gonna do its thinking in the background and there we have it. So we just took 13 or 14 Excel files and through a few clicks, we loaded all of those files into one spreadsheet. Um, and then Excel shows us over here that this is our first query, okay? But, but as James said, we're gonna, we're not done. We're gonna bring in some other sources of data that we have stored on our